Hi guys and welcome back to the channel with Toon Lee in Thailand and today just a, a quick chit chat uh, mainly about Toon and a bit of an update what's going on with us uh, here at the moment and also in the very near future so um, quite a few of you have been asking how she's been getting on with the thyroid if there's any progress there we've got some fantastic news Toon is going to go nuclear and I don't mean she's going she's gonna to bomb in her uh, usual way what I mean by that is she's going to be put onto iodine 131, or if you're in the know, I131, and it's uh, radiated iodine. So she's getting the Chernobyl treatment. Um, it's it's one of the most common, uh, if not the most common, treatment in the USA for uh, for treating thyroidism. So hopefully it's going to go out. It's been a real drawn out process uh, trying to get to this point. Uh, it meant that she had to get referred twice by two different hospitals. Um, but we're, we're there, we've got there. So it's it's a bit of a trek to, to get to the hospital where we're going. Um, and basically it's in a drink format. Um, but she'll turn radioactive for a while. She'll have to be in, um, not quarantine. Well, yeah, I suppose quarantine, but isolation. Um, it's going to be a bit of a strain on relationship because... Uh, you can't get close to each other. I think the closest you can get is about two meters. That's going to be for quite a while. Um, even things like washing clothes and uh, things like that. She's not going to be able to touch any of that. So I'm going to have to do my own washing. Um, but yeah, it's a small price to pay. Lee doing his washing for hopefully um, to making a full recovery. Um, after that, then she'll have regular checkups and make sure that it, it, has, it hasn't come back. There's a chance that she may still have to take medication for the rest of her life. Um, but the main thing is, if we can get her thyroid uh, levels down, then it, it, she's going to improve tenfold. So if you thought she was quite active and energetic now, if this works, guys, you, you, she'll be like a flipping wasp buzzing around the place, which will be great. To get to and back to her own self is something that... Well, it would just be amazing. So that, that's that bit then. Next bit for Toon is um, thank you very much for, for you guys that have, have, have uh, given us your support and gone over from this channel to check out a couple of her videos. It, it, it helps a lot, believe you me. Uh, and now Thai people are discovering the channel. I know some of you guys have put your wives and your partners um, onto her channel as well. So uh, fingers crossed, it'll all, um, it'll all pick up. And then all I have to do then is go around with the camera and video her and, and do the editing. I, I, I won't have to do any blah de blah anymore, which would be nice. The next thing for Mrs. Toon is one of our upcoming videos is going to be a Q&A. Uh, a little bit different this time round because previ the previous two that I've done have been all me, me, me. And I'm aware of that. We can only take so much of that, can't we, guys? So Toon is going to be at the helm at the next one. I, I told her this morning, uh, the look of shock on her face uh, was a picture. Um, we've already got three good questions for her. And if you would like a chance of having one of your questions read out and answered in Toon's own particular style, uh, post them on this comment, or you can go to our community tab, which can be found on our channel page. We don't want an, uh, a three hour long Q&A um, video because these things, sometimes you get into a, a, a good topic and it, it can go on a little bit. So ideally we're looking up to about eight questions. Uh, so we've got three at the moment. So don't hang about guys, put your, put your question in here uh, and then you'll stand a good chance. If we're getting influx, um, then we'll, we'll take some, we'll, we'll split it up and we'll take some over. If we don't get enough, um, then I'll be popping a few questions into to the uh, the video and uh, just to I think they call it bear baiting. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> On a little bit of a a, a a downer, we've had we've had a few messages lately, um, private messages, and uh, I I just like to clear up just just to clarify here. Um, and and it's to do with, with with Patreon. Now I'm not going to get involved with other channels, guys. But can I just clarify that everything on our channel is a hundred percent free. So don't group us with or associate us with anywhere else. 
We've always been free and I've guaranteed that we always will be. I've always tried to, um, what could I say, emphasise, that's a good word. Yeah, I've always tried to emphasise that any money that's raised um, through, through you guys will be reinvested into the farm 100% or go into the local community um, uh, and give them um, a day or two's work on our farm. On our monthly newsletter to to the people who have joined or just followed us on, on Patreon, you can see where the funds are being used. There's always a total breakdown of the costs um, and what the plans are for the future as well. And, um, you know, we are trying to make a difference here. But not just that, you know, we do help uh, local people try to, to, to give them a little bit of work here and there when we can. So that's it. I, I won't really say anything more about that. Um, it's a bit of a touchy subject, but what, what you find is you get some people that are just totally blink as soon as they, they hear the word um, patron and they're like a bloody, what, what could we say, an online Knights Templar for bloody patron. They're just going around trying to chop everyone's head off. So um, before you pass judgment um, on us or, or other channels, why don't you just go and check out what they're actually proposing and uh, how they're using the funds. All right, so always free, uh, always has been, always will be. Let's just chill out a bit. So that's my only whinge over. On to something a little bit more positive, and I would like to give a, a little push to um, our Facebook group. I've, I've mentioned it a couple of times previously, Rural Life Thailand. Um, it has changed slightly over the last month, We've now gone to a private group, not a closed group, a private group. So all that means, guys, is anyone can find us. That's not, uh, that hasn't changed. It just means that if you're not a member, and it's very, very easy to become a member, um, you, you can't look in on the, on the group. So the, as members, there was some concern previously that um, you, know, you do get some herbits on the internet, and we don't want any little herbit. Um, or horrible little men um, looking in on us. So we've just clicked it over to private. If you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome. Um, and all you need to do on your application, that's an application, sounds like you're going for a job. It's, not, it's just three simple little questions. And um, just make an effort to, to answer those. And it's, I don't know, it'd take you about a minute, two minutes top. So if, if you put an application in and you don't make any effort whatsoever, I would say 95% won't get in. If you've made a bit of an effort, we'll have a quick look on your profile. If you've set it up a day ago and uh, all you've got is a profile picture there and you've not answered any questions, you can jog on. But hand on heart, the, the vast majority of people that we've had join are absolute diamonds. And um, they're sharing some fantastic stuff on there. I've learned loads. Um, probably a bit lazy to implement half of it. But uh, it's, it's a good resource, guys. And there's lots of people there as well asking advice as well. So it's, um, yeah, I, I, th I think it's going really, really well. And there's over 1,100 members now. I think we started last August. So um, give a big thanks to sort of like the founding members as well. They've given some real impetus by posting and putting the word out and inviting friends to have a look in there and, and mention it on things like Reddit and stuff like that. Um, and also for the guys that um, uh, are helping out on the admin now as well, particularly Eddie. Um, I mean, he's, 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 I would say, done better than half the workload, workload for me. He's, he's, he's doing an outstanding job. Um, so big thanks up, Eddie. You know, I'm a huge fan. And uh, check his... <laughs> if you join admin, I'll give you loads of uh, pushes on what you're doing. So check Eddie's... Uh, channel out and, and I'll put a link in the description below. He's not in nice guy. He's American, but he's all right. He works harder than bloody most of us for hang out here. Puts me to shame. And when I get to his age, if I can do half of what that bloke's doing, <laughs> I'll be happy. I'm not sure whether if it's his missus in the background, got a big stick, keeps on beating him to work hard every day, but whatever it is, if it is the stick, it's bloody working. So you carry on. <laughs> There's Pete as well, Pete Wright. Um, check his um, Facebook page out. He's just about got his pad finished now. 
and uh, I won't give you his address because he's got his house warming any day. Um, but it, it bloody looks lovely there. Nice, quaint, quaint setting that he's, he's built this beautiful little house in there, and he's got his fish ponds and all that sort of stuff. And they're just sort of like having a last final tidy up now. And it's it's stories like that. That and when you follow people, if you follow our channel, that's that's the sort of thing that you see. But but through Facebook, now that we're becoming. Um, I don't know, what, what, what could we say? I'm almost getting lost for words, aren't I? Our uh, online footprint is becoming a bit more um, well known now. We are getting quite a lot of inquiries, which I hadn't anticipated. And um, generally speaking, it's, it's, it's companies or other people, so, um, some, with, some with businesses, um, some with Facebook, um, bits and bobs, some with other channels and that sort of thing. And they're looking for a push. No problem with that. I'm, um, I'm not talking about sponsor sponsorship videos or anything like that, guys. We don't do that sort of thing. Um, but what I have started doing is, because it's really hard, I find, um, I don't know, finding the time and investing your time and effort doing videos on, on YouTube. And don't get me wrong, I do like doing it. Um, it gets a little bit... I don't know, not like you're taking the piss, but it's, um, people want something for nothing quite a lot of the time. So if you want a push for your channel or, or what you're doing in Thailand, anything like that, that that's fine, but I'll do you a deal. You write a, a little blog only has to be just over 500 words, something like that. And a few, and a few pictures, a few photos, email it to me. I'll top and tail it and uh, make it look pretty. And we'll insert it as a guest blog article on our website um, then you get evergreen link to your whatever it is um, unlike if I just give you a shout out on our video once that video is about a month old unless it goes viral which will never happen for us you, you probably only get about 10 views a week which is no use to you or your business a month or two down the line so after that initial publishing of the video pretty much it will dry up whereas a, an article on the on the website um, it will be there forever unless I in, inadvertently <laughs> delete it which I did to Pete sorry Pete uh, I did I had to put it all together again and republish it again I didn't let you know I was too embarrassed but there you go everyone knows now um, but that's the only time out, out of about 13 14 articles I've only deleted one by mistake um, is that it I don't know it's a strange video today, isn't it? Toon's just gone off into town. She's uh, we had a few egg orders, some duck and chicken eggs, and a hundred quail eggs as well. Then she's nipping to the the local hospital, and she's got to have a pregnancy test because um, obviously you don't want to be radioactive if you've got a, a bun in the oven, do you? So um, yeah, when she gets back. I don't know. I've done my chores, so I'm in the clear. Um, I've popped in some more bamboo cuttings. Uh, I've put some more poultry poo around the base of about another bamboo trees. I don't really know what else to do. It's flipping hot. I might just put my feet up. Me and Lucy. Oh! Ah, not talked about this for a while. Just popped into me noggin. Uh, I was going to feed the ducks last night, put them away, and I just got down to the little pond bit, and all three dogs were barking like crazy. And thought, oh, it's, it's got to be a snake or a, a cat, because Klopp was going crazy. And normally that that boy cannot be bothered about anything. Um, so I just did a quick U-turn, started walking back towards them, and I saw it for the first time. The monitor lizard. It is massive, and it was stuck. Um, behind the little temporary net that we've put near the ducks. It couldn't get out and the dogs were trying to get at it. And then it got out, didn't it? And what did the dogs do? They all bloody ran off. It ran past them, jumped in the lake and went onto the big island. So I've seen it now after a year and a half and only seeing one baby one that Toon's nephew caught about six or eight months ago and hearing all these tales and me thinking, yeah, right, yeah, right. And uh, I had seen the head pop up a couple of times in the uh, the lake bit, but I, I hadn't seen it full size. But he's longer than Klopp, and Klopp's quite a big old boy. 
So I don't know. He's a beautiful creature, but um, <laughs> he's eating our bloody duck eggs. So I don't know. Maybe it's time to to hunt the monitor lizard. The thing is, you normally leave uh, like a dead fish or something like that as bait, and the bloody dogs will get in. They'll be catching gang by the snout or something. So I don't. I don't, I don't know. I can't sort of like make a hide out there and sit out all night. I'll just get bitten to death. Um, so I, I, I don't know, best way to deal with it, whether it just to let, let it keep on eating our duck eggs. We're not making enough money doing that anyway, so it's probably having about 10 eggs a day and taking 10 back for its babies. But anyway, I, I was, but it, it was good to see. Beautiful markings as well, very, very dark coloured and sort of like a creamy yellow stripes down the side. Looked prehistoric, but it didn't half shift. That's it then. As always, thanks for watching. And 99% uh, of the time I enjoy our interaction on the comments section. <laughs> I did have a little outburst the other day on the uh, the mushroom video, which isn't me at all. Normally I just laugh it off, but uh, when you get someone sort of like serial negativity comment wise, I, <laughs> I don't normally bite, but I don't know what got in me. And I thought, no, I'll let you have one barrel, mate. I'll always keep one barrel spare. You never know. You never know when you need that one. I've always got one in the chamber on my second barrel, but uh, <laughs> I did give it to him a little bit, which I say isn't me normally. But uh, I don't know. It felt quite good. But he won't get another chance. He <laughs> he's blocked. Uh, I roasted him, pinned him to the top, gave him his moment of glory just before I binned him off. So. Uh, you're probably still watching. <laughs> so you're probably still watching, you disrespectful sod. Um, but you need to set up a fake profile if you want to put another comment in. <laughs> and you're spelling so bad, I'll, I'll, I'll just spot that as well straight away and bin you off again. So you carry on, mate. That's it then. Thanks for listening to all my rambling, as per usual. Uh, I might go and do a bit of... Weeding. Nah, I'm going to put the kettle on instead. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Ta-da for now.